for example, if you see a governor or you see a president, and the president looks like someone who doesn't eat, check him up when he gets to his closet, and mm -hmm. then you know that every president eats, every governor eats, mm -hmm. and eats well, mm -hmm. and eats even voraciously. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, some people eat, permit me, blood must me. You, you, know, you know what I mean? You eat and then you lick your fingers <laughs> to show that there is, as a matter of fact, there was one philosopher that said, the only thing that the only the only way you can take good care of yourself is to tap is to start from the way you eat. Mm -hmm. He said, give yourself time to eat, relax. Mm -hmm. You do everything every day, every time, everywhere. You hardly have time. The only thing that you can give to yourself that sustains you is food. So when you want to eat, relax mm -hmm. and Don't take your hurry. time. When, and then you eat, you relax, you enjoy yourself. That's the only thing for you to enjoy, not um, clothes, <laughs> not all your belongings, yeah. but your food. So which means that food. Is critical yeah. to human existence. Now, when we talk about food, everybody needs it. You need it for your body system to build up, yeah. and then for you to be agile, for you to be able to think fast, to think, to, to be reasonable, and also for you to have resistance even to to molestations. Mm -hmm. You know, there are times when you are hungry. If anybody just taps you by chance, mm -hmm. hey, who is that? You know, you, you flare up. But when you are well fed, when you when anybody even slaps you, you look at him. This yeah. one is hungry. Just like and you go your way, mm -hmm. because food is the issue. Mm -hmm. So that's it, that's it. So when there is no food, <laughs> when you don't when you don't eat well, when you don't eat well, then you are angry. You know, a hungry man. Just as um, the moderator said the other time, mm -hmm. every hungry man is an, an angry man. man. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, the importance of food cannot really be overemphasized. That is, we live because there is food. Yeah. You know, the areas, the countries where there are serious water, like Somalia and all, you can see them, you can see their footages of the hungry children, and especially uh, women and, and their children, because there's no food. So we need to take this food issue very, very seriously in Nigeria and be able to stop anything that will make us not to lack uh, food in Nigeria. Exactly. You are hearing us. Whoever is doing that, we need to take it very seriously. Exactly. That there must be availability of food everywhere and also be accessible. Exactly. And God will help us Amen. because this is our prayer. Amen. We'll take a break now. We with you. Say and do it. Welcome back. We are still discussing tackling food crisis or security in Nigeria. This takes me to the last question from this end. Oh. How then do we tackle food crisis in Nigeria? Because that is a topic. Mm. How do we tackle food crisis? Mm. Where it starts from, it starts from you and me mm. before we talk about the government. Yes. Now, I said something the other time. The, the mainstay of Nigeria's economy before mm -hmm. was agriculture. Culture. You go to Benue, you see, you, see, um, you see yam. Go to the east. I did my youth call in the east. Mm -hmm. Go to the east, you see palm, palm oil. Palm oil yeah. Even though they don't eat it there. Cassava, no, you no. know, they don't eat much. They don't like uh, palm oil, but they produce palm oil. Mm. You know, go to... Everywhere, there is no state in Nigeria at, at, the time, I mean, at the time that didn't have something to produce. So we were self-sufficient in terms of food. Everything was available within, within us. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, there was, so everyone was a farmer. There was self, self I mean, mm -hmm. subsistence farming. Mm -hmm. We are not talking about mechanized farming now. Mm -hmm. Everyone was a farmer. Around your house, Around you, your your house you, you plant, plant something. Things. Okay, so you plant tomato, you plant pepper around mm -hmm. your house. Yeah, exactly. You have a small, now you have, you had bands. We had bands in the, in the, in the I mean, in the, in the farms in those days. That's where you, you, you have, these are yam tubers, mm -hmm. and then you, you know, you, you, you pre prepare yeah, a band, and, 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 then, the and then you display. Yes. It's, it's our local way of preserving our yam tubers in those days. And then people come, you know, there's a way to preserve your corn mm. till the following year. Mm -hmm. We had all, all these things in Nigeria before. Unfortunately, oil came in, mm -hmm. and then we forgot everything about our culture, about our tradition, about our natural resources. There was nothing that stopped us, but we stopped ourselves. Mm. So even before we call, call, I mean, talk about the government now, we, and let me also say that it was even agriculture, from agriculture, that we were able to finance our economy in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the major, the, 
the, the major supplier, the major feeder of our budget at that time in the past was agriculture. agriculture. Because we were producing, I mean, uh, palm cannel, palm, palm cannel mm -hmm. uh, to be taken abroad. Uh, Even animal husbandry. Cocoa and many other Cocoa, things. Cocoa, um, yes. all manner, coffee, tin, mm -hmm. tube, I mean, uh, timber, uh, caliber, I mean, and so on. We had all my rubber, highs and skin. Mm -hmm. We had all of them before, but we neglected them because when oil, oil came, mm -hmm. and then all Discovery of us began of to pursue oil. Even, even um, the desert are now saying that they, they could find oil in their backyard. So we don't know how true that is. Mm -hmm. So which means that we have a long way to go. We have something to do, you know, within ourselves. Go to your house, and prepare a small place, yeah. plant tomato, plant pepper, plant it. And unfortunately, we don't have, I'm sorry to say, we don't have a government that is leading by example. If, for example, a state government comes around, goes on there, and says, look at my farm, at my backyard. Mm. If one governor could do that, the entire state will follow up. Exactly. Just say, see my, see my backyard. Look at the yam I've planted. Mm -hmm. Look at the, the, the cassava I've planted. Look at the tomatoes, look at pepper, the and all Look that. at tomato, look at pepper. If a governor could do that, the, the entire compound. state, the entire state will follow suit and do the same. But we are not being led by examples. So we are... We are you know, um, everything by 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 by. <laughs> exactly, everything you know, everything is just by who can I buy who. Mm. So that is one. Mm. Then number two, we also need to call on the government to also take their job seriously. They must show responsibility. Now concerning the government perspective, I also believe that the government has a role to play, a big role to play. Um, even in terms of mechanized farming. They don't even need to go that far. That's, that's far for us because agriculture is part of us. So it's not strange. It's not new to us. If we are talking about mechanized farming, we are even looking at the, the first world, the second world. But uh, we, we have to accept it. We are, we are still being called the third world, so to say. Um, I want to believe that there are, there are certain things that government, the government can do. The government can encourage by producing, I mean, by providing fertilizers for our local farmers. And they can, they, 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 can, they can do more. I could remember when Obasanjo, when uh, General Lucia Gombasanjo, you know, when he was mm -hmm. head of state mm -hmm. uh, in the 70s, mm -hmm. he introduced what we call uh, Operation Field Feed Nation, Nation, OFN. OFN. OFN was to make people go back to the, go back to the farm, to return to the, to the farm, so that we could feed the, the nation, nation, that everyone could feed Nigeria. And it succeeded to some extent. But, you know, when you have, and that was military government, when you have... When you have a program, but there is no proper monitoring, mm -hmm. you, 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 devote, you devote some, some, some amounts to it, but you don't close monitor, mm -hmm. then there will be a challenge. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Shagari took over mm -hmm. from Obasanjo. Shagari introduced the Green Revolution. Mm -hmm. Green Revolution started where? It's also failed. It's mm -hmm. collapsed. Mm -hmm. I think it was the experience that Obasanjo had at that time that made him now go back to the farm. Mm -hmm. You know, the his farm is, 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 is retired as a farmer. Mm -hmm. He's still a farmer today. And he's doing very well as a person. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, he couldn't do well, this well, what okay. he's doing now, he couldn't do so well when he was head of state. Mm. And then you begin to ask questions. That why was it that when he was head of state and he introduced the Operation Feed the Nation, the, the, the program didn't succeed. Mm. And now he's succeeding as, a, as, you know, as an individual farmer, mm. you know, using the same intelligence that he had at that time for him to introduce the, the program. So you begin to ask all manner of questions. And then you also begin to wonder the kind of, the kind of personnel that we have that are, you know, that are implementing you know, government programs. So government can come in again. Also, we are in a critical, we are in a crisis situation. We are in a critical, um, uh, uh, a critical period now in terms of food. The food is not available. It's not already there. I, I mean, about six years ago, I was in Sokoto, Sokoto State. In Sokoto, uh, uh, then we had, um, you know, I, I followed uh, this uh, UNICEF program to, I mean, for, for certain things. Mm. And then we were taken to IDP. And then we also were taken to one hospital. The hospital was uh, taking care of children. You need to come and see malnourished mm. children. You also need to come and see malnourished mothers. And mothers. The mothers need, need, you know, mothers need to be fed well first before they, well, can, they can feed, feed, their feed their children. You see, you see mothers, they look like sticks. I am telling you. 
all of us that went for the program that time, it was a four-day program. All of us that went for the program that time, we only went as journalists to cover the, the, the program. I mean, to, to, to your of seat. Course, yeah. We had to, when we were leaving, when we were leaving for our hotel, uh, um, for our hotel, mm. you know, returning from the, from, from, from the place, we had to go out and then we had to discuss with ourselves, we must do something for these people. Mm -hmm. Individually, we taxed ourselves, we had to contribute. And then we give to those people to go yeah. and buy food for these people. Mm -hmm. It was that bad. It was terrible. So when people are not well fed... And you're, they, and you're talking about six years ago. Six years you ago. Imagine what we are seeing now. What's happening now? now. It's, 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 more, it's more horrible now. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's at a very dangerous dimension now. So...